So I grew up in Albany, New York. You know, I went to public schools and I was interested in chemistry. My parents got me these Gilbert sets, you know, Gilbert you know, microscope set and Gilbert chemistry sets, and I loved playing with those. I really wanted to use my chemical engineering education to, to help people, and so I thought about medicine. When I first started, I was the only engineer in Children's Hospital, and the scientists didn't believe that we could do these things, and they actually said, you know, chemical engineer shouldn't be working in things like cancer. I just kept believing, though, that the things we were doing were important. In the 70s, we developed some of the first microspheres that could deliver drugs for a long time. But what that couldn't do is it couldn't allow you to go to a cell. So in the early 1990s, we modified the microsphere procedures we made to make nanospheres, so they're like, say, a thousand times smaller. You really need nanotechnology. What we're trying to do is target the drug right to the cancer cell. And of course, to the extent that that's successful, that would spare the rest of the body the, these toxic chemotherapy drugs, and it would direct most of all the drug, hopefully, into the tumor. And these therapies could be transformative for medicine. My hope is that the drug delivery work that we're doing uh, will have a huge effect on, on the third world. Some of the things that we're working on are, are, are much better vaccines that uh, patients can take you know, just once, for example, with polio. We're also working on new drug delivery systems that might be super long acting, that you know, might combat malaria and TB as well. I feel really honored and humbled to receive the Cavalier Prize. I think any time there's a prize, I think it shines a light on a discipline. I hope that it inspires, you know, more young people to want to go into this field and, and do good things. Probably the most important contribution I, I, I could make is, is training the leaders of the future. So we've had something like 800 people come through the lab. 300 are now professors at different schools. My expectation is in the next 30 to 50 years, we're going to see so many transformative products that will enable new kinds of therapies, new kinds of diagnostics, and I think that will change the face of medicine and, you know, make the world a better place. Mm -hmm.